What's up, YouTube? Instafame HD here, or Austin, coming at you with another episode of MLG Pro Tip. I hope you guys are excited for this video. This video, I will talk about watching and watching other players, watching yourselves, and just watching in general and getting better that way. Just to let you guys know, before I do start this commentary off, I did join an org. It is not for competitive, or at least not yet. I'm going to be trying out for the competitive team in IW, but I don't know if I'll make it yet. Everything's just got to work together. You know, we just got to mesh as a team, but we'll see if I do make it. I really hope I do, because I would love to represent them in that way. But I am going to make a full video dedicated to telling people that I did join an org, because not everyone watches my MLG Pro Tip videos. But I just want to let you know I did join. It's T37 or Trinity7. They're a pretty big organization. I will post all their links in the description below. So make sure you go to check them out. There will be another video all dedicated to this. But I want to let you guys be the first ones to know. So now let's actually get into the MLG Pro Tips. And I'm going to start off with watching other people. The first thing is watching other people. That means Twitch streamers. That means competitive Call of Duty players. It, just watch matches. Like, I watch matches probably daily. I watch... I watch a lot of people that stream, even if it's just S and D stars. I wouldn't really watch S and D stars. I watch more of the competitive players, like people that from like I know Rise Slack streams all the time, and people like that that just stream all the time. But they are competitive players because they don't play like S and D stars. They play like competitive players, and you can watch them. Also, watch team scrim. People team scrim all the time. Try to find a team scrim to watch. They even if they're not professionals, just watch. Try to find some strats. Also. Yeah, I know a lot of YouTubers do this, like Scum, Prim, Karma, all the, I, I just said all the Optic people, but Rise people do it, all the Elevate people do it. Just go check out their YouTube channels and watch for their full team scrim things, or just match the full team scrim and they did really good, because you can find out new strats and why they did that good. Sometimes it's just gun skill and you can work on that, but sometimes it is strats that they use. Also, watch CUWL matches. Everyone posted on the internet. You can go find any of them. I'd recommend the Cloud9 vs. Optic in the Cloud Champs. That is a great series. Watch those. You'll you'll learn some good strats. But that was probably one of my favorite series. You just watch competitors compete because they ha they're, they can do this for a living. They compete every single day. Yes, they might not have the best strats because they practice against each other. That's the only thing they practice against. But they do have good strats that you can use, and if you're trying to get to that level, you will be using strats like that, so just keep watching. And the very next, probably one of the most important parts is theater. Use advantage of theater. IW is going to have theater. Black Ops 3 has theater. Make sure you use theater. Theater is a huge advantage for many people. I know I saw one of Optic's videos. They said they were going to go to a film set. You know that's most likely in theater because they scrim every day. But when you do have a scrim, maybe an hour after you guys practice, 30 minutes after you practice, whenever, just take an hour of your time, just relax with your teammates, you all have to watch at the same time, because if you grade yourself, you're, you're going to think you did great, just like if you read over your own paper in in the college, in high school, whatever you're writing a paper for, you're going to think it's really good, but when someone else reads it over, they have a second pair of eyes, they can realize things that you didn't realize, so everyone just take responsibility for someone else, like I'll watch my teammate, he watches the other teammate, and it's just like a circle, so you can just basically learn what each other does and also you can learn what mistakes each other made P tell each other when to start when to pause what what to look at just be like hey at 135 look at instafame hd look at this play he made when he should have been looking cabin he looked back rock or something i just used two random calls those aren't even on the same map but just it's just simple things like that and you can be like look he should have looked that way because spawns flipped because of me or search we called out one back spawn and no one flipped around and the person in the back should have flipped things like that you can realize but you don't always realize during the game so after the game and practice makes perfect and the one of the big part of practice is listening and watching and even if you're the team captain you got the greatest team captain i know he's the captain but still he makes mistakes he's human so always grade each other on what you guys are doing and if there's something wrong, just talk about it in the in the theater, and everything after that it's gone. You know, if any fights break up, don't don't just go at someone and be like, you gotta win these gunfights. That's something that you gotta work on. That's something that you can't control with map knowledge and things like that. This is for learning. This isn't for getting better. This is for this is for getting better in knowledge wise, and not for gun skill wise. Gun skill is something that comes. So don't ever get on your teammate about that. Don't ever start a fight. You know, if your teammate, some teammates are just like that. But never start a fight. Always just be positive for your teammates. Be like, you should have done this. We're good. You know, next step we're going to get it. We're all good. You know, keep keep it positive. Because when it gets negative, if you guys lose a couple of scrims, you know, it might get a little negative, get a little chippy. But you don't want that. You want to keep a positive attitude always inside of your team so you guys can compete at the highest level. Nice. I hope you guys did learn something 
from this video. I, ha I do have a uh, gameplay in the background. It's a pretty good gameplay. I use the ATK. It's competitive on Stronghold. It's a pretty good game. We end up winning. It's not the team that I'm with now. I'm actually not on a team right now. I'm looking for a team for IW, but that's that's in the future. Hopefully, I'm going to try out for the Trinity 17, like I said earlier. Let's get out the video for today, guys. I hope you guys learned something. I hope these videos actually help. Let me know in the comment section below if they do help. But leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and have a great day. Peace!